Cinematic class is about to begin, and your movie professor is in. You know, of the three Robert Langdon films that have, that have been made, this one, which is the latest one called Inferno, is probably the best of the three, but it still leaves an awful lot to be desired. And the problem with these films, certainly not Tom Hanks, I mean, you know, the, he's one of the finest actors on screen today. The problem with these films has always been in the adaptation. For some reason, everyone tries to make these movies and put everything that's in the book into the movie. Folks, it just does not work out that way. You can't go from over 400 pages to 120 pages and cover everything. And when you jam it all in, and you know, Ron Howard as director should know better, because I mean, he's an experienced filmmaker, but they keep doing it with this series. Now, for those of you who may not have read the Dan Brown book, here's what the movie's all about. Do you love humanity enough to save it? Tom loves playing Robert Langdon, and he's just that much more at the center of the heartbeat of Inferno. Professor Langdon? Robert Langdon wakes up uh, in a hospital room. People are trying to kill him. He has no idea why. I found this in my jacket. What are you doing with it? I have no idea. Well, he's been implanted with this device that gives him a vision of Dante's Inferno. This is what I have been seeing. The letters. Cherka Trova, so you can find. It's a clue. Then he knows exactly what it is because the two words Cherka Trova are one of the most famous mysteries in all of art history. Someone created a plague. That is what Langdon is thrust into. And it's very immediate, real world, right now, danger. And Langdon needs to try to understand it first before you can even try to stop it. I left you a path, the hardest one yet. Only you can finish it. I really wanted to inhabit this movie with characters who would surprise us. Remove Langdon. It's so much about twists and turns. I want to know what I'm involved with and where people stand. Half the people on Earth will die. It has very little to do with the past and everything to do about the moment. You are humanity's final hope. Because, boy, that clock is really ticking in this movie. Say, Tom Hanks is looking a bit weathered in this outing. I know it starts off with his character and trauma, but I can't tell if the makeup department just kind of dropped the ball on this one or if he was still wearing some of the old stuff from Sully beforehand. Look, here's the bottom line on this movie. The whole concept of overpopulation destroying the Earth and it is necessary for mass genocide in order to save the human race yeah, that concept was real big and then died out in the early 1970s, and it should probably stay back there. Yeah. The grade for Inferno is a C. It appears you're out of options. Tell me about the threat known as Inferno. <sighs> Professor Langdon, we need your help. Three days ago, a man killed himself. We think he was part of something much bigger. There was a package in his pocket. And what was it? It's Dante's Inferno. Dante defined our modern conception of hell 700 years ago. But these circles of hell have been rearranged. Why Dante? Why this map of hell? Dante. Dante's death mask. Yes. We've got to get to Florence. I need access to the Dante mask. The Dante mask is no longer here. It was stolen. Here's the security footage. Professor, that looks like you. I have no memory of taking that mask. You did? I just saw you. I want to know what I'm involved with. 
Why was someone shooting at you? Everything is out of focus. Professor, you are having visions, aren't you? The people behind this would do anything to protect the truth. You have no idea what they're capable of. This is what I have been seeing. Look, look, look. This is not in the original painting. Here's another one. Prophecy. Oh, my God. Dante's Inferno isn't fiction. It's a prophecy. Someone created a plague. Our population is spiraling out of control. Inferno is the cure. They're going to wipe out half the world's population unless we find this virus. They left a trail. You won't be able to trust your own thoughts for a while. Human lives are at stake. If a plague exists, you know what governments will do to get it. The professor has become a liability. Go, go, let's get him. Here, here. There's always a way out. It's nice to have you back, Professor. If this plague is real... Then we only have 48 hours to stop an extinction-level event. I will do everything I can to find it. 